You need a close up. Flawless baby. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zed back with another video and it's flawless. That's what it's given, okay? The base is flawless. The beat is flawless. All the products are bomb. If you want to see what I use to get this look, just keep on watching. I'm about to start with my eyebrows and I'm using the Fenty Brow MVP to brush my brows out. I'm just going to start by filling in the tail part. And this part is always kind of boring because it's just brows, you know. I'm trying to get through this part as quickly as I can, girl. But I do really like this eyebrow pencil. Um, this is one of my favorites. This and the Precisely My Brow in number four by Benefit. I love them both. I just ran out of that one, so I'm using this. So for my brows, I use a pencil on the tail part all the way up until I get to the very front. And then I use a dip bra uh, pomade for the beat for the rest. I'm using an Anastasia pomade in the shade Ebony for the front of my brows. I like my brows kind of dark. So if you don't, just use the lighter shades, of course. Okay. And at the front, I'm just doing really, really light strokes so that it's not too harsh. Now that the brows is done, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. And I'm using Born This Away by Too Faced, one of my favorite concealers. I'm just going to go ahead and do underneath my brows. I use this to clean up my brows every single time, even if I use a different shade from my under eye. I always use this for my brows. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sculpt them out. And I like to bring my eyes all the way into the inner corner. And just blend it out. And I just blend this down and onto my lid. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Pro Filter True Matte Primer. Love this. Been using it for quite a long time. This one and the Elf are my favorites. And I'm just rubbing that all over the skin. Yeah, like my nails. I did it myself. Super cute. All right, for the foundation, I'm going to be going in with a favorite, favorite foundation of mine, which is a Too Faced Born This Way. I'm going to be mixing this with the, the matte one as well. They're both in shade Tiramisu. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand first. And I'm just going to mix the two together and put it on and then blend it out with my brush. I'm just gonna blend this all into my skin. And this is gonna be a nice full coverage. So if you're looking for full coverage, girl, this is gonna be it. I'm blending it all in I'm getting underneath my chin area I am ha I do have on this kind of top so I'm gonna blend it down to make sure it's no harsh discoloration or anything between my face and my chest my chest is a little bit darker but it's okay foundation is so good if you have not tried this foundation you need to get either the regular one or the matte they're both really good and I've been loving this foundation for a long time and again I'm using the shade tiramisu and it's a bomb 
just look at the coverage all right now i'm gonna go in with a concealer that i have been loving 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 this is an anastasia beverly hills concealer in the shade 21 i really love this color especially for me especially for the summer it's just a really pretty color and i'm just putting that on all the high points you already know just like that then i'm gonna go in with the nars laguna bronzer the cream bronzer in the shade 05 and i'm gonna take a little anastasia brush dip just a little bit because this is really dark but it's perfect for summer especially for my skin tone and even darker yeah and i'm just blending that and tapping it into my face into the hollows of my cheeks make sure you don't bring it down too far or else your face is going to kind of sag down and don't nobody want that and then i'm going to go on the other side and do the same thing i'm not going to let my concealer sit too long because i do have a matte foundation on and it will dry down so i'm going to go ahead and blend it out a little bit with my brush first just blending it out and then i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender but i like to blend it out first so i can get the most coverage and also get the placement down that i like and yeah and then i'm gonna bring it on my lid same thing on this side and i'm just really tapping and moving not dragging or swiping at all lid and then I'm gonna go hit the forehead okay and the bridge of the nose and I'm just gonna clean that up with my finger because I don't want it to be too thick of a line and I'm gonna take my beauty blender I'm using a black one and I'm using the butt of the beauty blender to blend my chin and my forehead and I'm gonna take the pointy end and go ahead and hit underneath my eye oh it's a fly that looks real good I hope y'all can see how good this is looking your beauty blender is damp while you're doing this so it could blend much easier i know a lot of people already know that but if you don't know and you're new to doing your makeup make sure your beauty blender is damp your life will be so much easier i'm gonna go down my nose another set of concealer i'm gonna use an um the anastasia one again on a corner right here and then i'm gonna go in with the pat mcgrath concealer on the inside just for a little brightness there there's a fly please get, get out of here just like that and i'm gonna do the same thing again blend it And then let it sit. I'm gonna go back and blend out my bronzer again so everything is nice and seamless. We don't want no harsh lines. We ain't trying to be looking crazy. That's cute. Go ahead and blend this out. These two concealers in this foundation, oh, chef's kiss, baby. It looks good every single time. Take a little bit 
taking my foundation brush just to go over it make sure there's no harshness anywhere and make sure it's nice and blended out otherwise you will be setting creased up eyes and that's just crazy so i'm using um lord mercier translucent honey powder and i just dipped my sponge into it just like that and i'm just gonna set right under the eye and hit the lid as well oh look at that so cute same on this side hit the lid I said I'd probably be doing something. That looks so, so good. I, I take a little bit more setting powder and tap off the excess. And then I take it and then I go on my eyebrows as well. And then I'm going to go here. Just like that. That looks good. I'm gonna be taking two Fenty blushes, one in Daiquiri Dip and one in Rose Latte. I'm gonna be mixing them both on my sponge. And then I'm going to add it to my cheeks. Skimming scrumptious, okay. All right, so I did my my cream blush, flipping my sponge and just making sure it's blended. Same sponge. I set my face using Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Powder and Coffee Cake. Just gonna be setting, and I'm actually doing this pretty light handed. Even though it looks really fast, I'm still using a really light hand. And I'm just making sure everything is nice and set. All these products that I'm using are products that I really, really love, that I use all the time. I always go back to no matter what. And they are just bomb. As you can see. Don't forget to get underneath your neck, chin, whatever. Because we did put foundation there, so I want to set that part. My bronze, I'm going to be using Toasted Hula Toasted by Benefit. Um, otherwise, I would be using Mocha Mommy. Love them both. Just want to use this one for today. And I'm just going to take this Morphe brush, Morphe M403, and really get in those hollows of the cheeks. Again, don't take it down too far. bring it to my forehead and around my hairline this is looking so good I'm telling you girl this beat is just bomb okay if you want to look flawless I'm showing you all the products you just gotta use them my blush I'm gonna be using Electric Boom by Pat McGrath. This is what it looks like. 
we love a bright blush for the cheeks just gonna tap in it once because it's very pigmented and I'm gonna actually start up here and then bring it down. Starting here at the temple and then bring it down. Mm -hmm. Girl. It's giving delicious, okay, bomb and flawless. Love that. For my eyes, I'm just gonna go in with Fenty Beauty's Coco Naughty, just to give my eyes a little bit of color, not really eyeshadow, you know. Just gonna take a brush and sweep it in my crease and hit the outer corner. just to give it a little bit of dimension, but not too much. This is not really about eyeshadow, obviously. I'm just doing the flawless base. Actually, maybe an update. Should I call it updated base of my routine? Because this is what I've been doing and it's bomb.com. I can't stop using it. I do tweak a few products, like I said, like the bronzer, but it's really products that I love, love, love. Y'all, get into it. Yeah. All right, next, I'm going to go back to my brows because I go back to my brows at the end using a dip brow again. I'm just going to go over the front because of the products that I use. I just want to make sure the front of the brow is given. That is my favorite part. And I just like to... Give it some hair-like strokes at the front. Yeah. Taking this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set my brows. I'm just gonna be brushing them up. Am I missing anything before I set? my face i feel like i need a little more powder but i don't want to overdo it i'm gonna add a little bit more of the translucent powder underneath my eyes i feel like it needs a little bit more on the outside yeah i'm gonna be using this brown what is this Makeup Forever brow, Brown Pencil in Dimension Dark Brown to line my eyes. And I'm actually just gonna line them halfway. So about right there. Now I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna be using one size. And, oh, is there anything in here? There's nothing in here. I will usually use these two, but it ran out. And I will also use the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I ran out, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. That's just to get the powder powderiness away. Is that gonna work? And then, of course, the one size. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome. All right, for my lips, I'm going to be using this Refi Lip Pencil in Sepia, which I've been really loving. First, I found it kind of hard to use, but we girls now, we home girls. So I'm just lining my lips. Mm-hmm. 
here. And I'm kind of filling it in just a little bit so it's not so harsh. Mm -hmm. Like that. Then I'm going to take the other side, which is like the setting part. which looks like this. And I'm gonna rub that in all over. Like so. And I'm just dabbing it in with my finger. And then I'm gonna take this NARS Power Matte Lipstick in Killer Queen, which has been my favorite. And I'm just gonna rub it like that and then I'm going to take my finger and just tap it out lip setter is kind of gonna, it's going to set it as well so I can't block my lips together and try to get it on the top that won't work so I gotta put some up there and then just for like a wash of color so cute this is the final look i didn't do any bottom lashes because i've been really feeling no bottom lashes this is it so freaking bomb mm -hmm. so flawless so cute All right, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.